Hello everyone, welcome to River City Girls 2 1940s Noir Edition. With yours truly, Don. Haha, <laughs> he's the man. I'm not gonna do the whole episode in this voice. What, what the hell kind of voice? How did they even do that back in this freaking 1940s and 30s and 60s? <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what's the deal with the film grain that looks more like an attempt at the end of Gumbuster as opposed to a 1940s noir? Well, Mr. K's side mission, that's what. And the film grain is turned off. Nice. Now for the screens that are black and white, that will give you a clue to search for clues. And this random note is, oh, goat eye. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. That's not related to the Mr. K stuff. That's something completely different. But getting back to the Mr. K stuff, you have to search for clues in the black and white screens. I believe there are three or four of these things too. Haha, -ha, you guys can't catch me. I sound more like Waluigi than a 1940s announcer doing that voice. Oh. There's the boiler. Why, it certainly is. All 2,856 pounds of her. Huh? What is that thing? Huh? Where? You. Oh, well, I'm Bummy. I take care of this here boiler. At least, I did before all them Yakuza fellas came and smashed it apart. Great. Now there's no way to avoid Ken's fire traps. Well, now I didn't say that. Oh, Thummy's always got an extra solution up his sleeve. I'd rather not see that, thanks. <laughs> the boiler might be smashed, but they left the pieces. All y'all gotta do is pick up all them dials on the floor, snap them back in place, and this here boiler should be ready for prime time! What happens at prime time? It's, uh, just an expression. Maybe try to express yourself a bit less, Thummy. Can do! <laughs> Jesus. Now what you need to do here is get these four dials and put them into the machine. I found a dial, I think. Come on, let's get back to that boiler and the weird little guy. And of course you have to deal with extra goons on the side. Would not be a beat em up without these guys. A good thing the sequel makes grabbing people in the air easier than the first game. In order to perform a mid-air grapple move on your opponent, you have to press triangle and circle at the same time while falling with your opponent. Sometimes in the first game, the inputs would just drop. Is this one of them? My gum, it sure is! I call that particular dial skipping, on account of how I always skip with joy whenever I see it. <laughs> sure, whatever. How many more of these are left? Three more. But before you go looking for them, Gotta reinstall this fella here. Hey there, Skippy! <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, Thummy sure did miss ya. Now we just need to punch the dial in place. You don't know when the dial's in place when you hear a click. So about this Thummy character, <laughs> I think he might be my favorite side character because of how out of place he is. Look at him, where did he even come from? Why is his name Thummy? What's his backstory? <laughs> That's, this is just way forward being way forward. Her arc system works, I don't know who's responsible for Thummy. I believe that Thummy is a way forward creation. You gotta love way forward in their wackiness. Just look at the Shantae games. I do actually want to play a Shantae game eventually. I just don't know which one to start with. Yes, I know, the first game, but I don't really like the first Shantae game that much. Or Risky's Revenge, for that matter. Was it Risky's Revenge? Whatever the second Shantae game was, I did not like that either. But the third game onwards, that's where the series hit its stride. Kinda weird how the third game managed to be the best game in the series. Oh, wait, Sonic the Hedgehog did that, never mind. Yes, I do think Sonic 3 is the best. Ah, ah. <laughs> we'll get to that game eventually. Your fist hurt my face. Ah, ah. <laughs> I sounded like bootleg Skeletor on that one. Curse you, He-Man! Ah! I can't even do the Skeletor voice. I could just do a knockoff. Got a 
another dial. You sure as shoot did. Oh, Bubby is impressed. Now go on ahead and attach that thing over there to this thing right here, and we'll be in business. Who's the voice actor for Skeletor? Let me look that up real quick. I think it was like Alan something. Oh, Alan Oppenheimer. That's who voiced Skeletor. And he's 94 and he looks that good at his age? Dude looks amazing. See what I mean? I mentioned a couple of parts ago that Arnold might live to that age or beyond. Just look at Alan Oppenheimer. He's pretty much immortal. I bet you he's found the secret to living. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to, I'll actually not all of us need to find the secret of living. Is that it? That should be it. Oh no, I still have to turn the dial, of course. Back to Stubby now. Tell me. Whatever. Third dial. Oh boy. Keep up coming. This is more excitement than old Thummy had down here in years. It's good to know that Thummy's having a good time. Hopefully, this boiler doesn't explode and kill us all. This would be the type of game that would do that. Everybody just explodes because somebody turned the dials wrong and the whole school is destroyed. Game over. You know, I've actually been in a boiler room before. I've been in a couple, and I gotta say, they are just as creepy as they look. I think this is the last time. You know, when this is over, I think I might actually miss Thummy. Really? No. I think this is the last dial. Ah, Tabitha. How oh, I missed you. Dial's name is Tabitha? Nah, old Thumb is just thinking about a friend. Weird. Okay, what do we do now? Attach that dial to this thing and crank her up! And this will turn off Ken's fire tracks? <laughs> Maybe. Could also blow up the boiler and kill us all. Either way, this has been one eventful day and I'll be dying with my best friend. Wait, what? Stalling the dial now. I like Ricky's reaction to that whole conversation. He was like, what? You didn't tell me this before. <laughs> and Kunio's reaction was like, oh, I've been to jail before. What's death at this point? Death means nothing. So let's deal with more of these low life scumbags. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully not blow ourselves to hell as we fight these guys. I honestly wonder if boilers do present problems like that. Like some of them overheat and then they cause the whole building to self-destruct. Oh boy. That would honestly make me more weary of boiler rooms than I'm already am. I'm good on boiler rooms. I, I don't think I want to be a mechanic for anything. <laughs> mechanic for a car, maybe, but not in some sort of weird boiler room that might explode. I can't even pick up that wrench in the background, are you serious? Oh, of course, it's painted flat. If the item's flat, you can't touch it. Anyway, Ricky's special moves are more of the supernatural type. For one thing, if you press forward towards the enemy and then the special move, then Ricky will spawn some sort of dark energy ball. It stun locks opponents and the ball can be interactable by just punching it. You can come up with some pretty cool scenarios in small rooms by punching the ball back and forth and bouncing it around. That's some Dragon Ball Z Frieza shit right there. <laughs> and that's Thummy out of the way. Spared from an explosion. Well, who knows, maybe it'll just drop dead from a heart attack anyway. <laughs> but with that, we can actually get up to the rooftop now and deal with Ken. The bastard. Well, we're not dead. And no more fire traps. And no more thummy. Well, I kinda liked him. Let's go find Ken. I bet he's upstairs. All right, boss time. Ken is much of the same as he was before, but he's got backup. 
even more backup than he did before. Hold it, Ken. What, are you cops now? Who says hold it? I, I guess we just did. No, we're not cops. We're teenagers. But we are here to pummel you. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. And you know why? Why's that? Because I brought some teenagers of my own. Oh, creepy. Yeah, that came out weird. You're always hiding behind your recruits like cowards, afraid to fight your own battles. Pot calling Coward. the kettle black. Those people are our friends. Or sometimes we pay them money to protect us. Or that. Well, now it's my time to hide behind my own recruits. Ryuji, Ryuichi, please make your dramatic entrance. Well, look at that, Ryuichi. What's that, Ryuji? More walking punching bags for our training. <laughs> what perfect timing. I believe these two students were expelled. Please show them to the window again. With pleasure, boss. We will enjoy this. Ready, Ryuichi? You know it, Ryuji. The boss fight is indeed Ken, but you got Ryuji the Red Ranger and Ryuichi the Green Ranger. Or maybe I got those guys in reverse. They're playing defense. You got the security guards back, and you got grenades. But other than that, Ken is Ken. He's easy to deal with on his own, it's just the other party that will get in your way. And even then, the other party does a terrible job of getting in your way. They just slash at air most of the time. Phase 2 is where the Dragon Twins will start to get more involved in the fight. Sort of. The Twins will throw Ninja Stars, Shuriken, towards the center of the screen from opposite ends. They're relatively easy to avoid. The Twins will also do their dash attacks more often. Ken, on the other hand, does not change his strategy up one bit. The music for Ken's second boss fight is not as good as the first boss fight. Where's the big band music? That, that's what I want. Big band. This song is still alright though. It's a good thing getting shot in this game is not an instant death. Looking at you, Renegade, and River City Zero, and Double Dragon. Realistically, getting shot would probably put most men down in one hit, but is it good for video games? Well, if it's not Contra, then no. <laughs> Contra's the only game that could get away with stuff like that. Beat em ups can't. Final phase. Nothing changes at all. Not even Ken's strategy. He's literally doing what he's doing from the first fight. He's even panicking during his say hello to his little friend stick. Come on, Ken, you're a gangster. You're supposed to be taking charge of this shit. But no, Ken is a poser, just like he was in River City Zero. And it's weird that it's implied that Ken is actually older than Kunio in this game. Even though in the prequel, or River City Zero, whatever you want to call it, Shinneketsu, he's implied to be the same age as Kunio. Uh, different timelines, I guess, I don't know. It's like whatever series has a timeline issue. Okay, we'll go with Star Trek. Star Trek has 5,000 timelines. <laughs> or at least it seems like it because of how many times the Enterprise goes back and forward through time. Quit messing with the timeline, Barry. Oh wait, that's another one with multiple timelines, The Flash. Holy shit, The Flash fucks up time so much. 
And it's not even just Flashpoint Paradox. Barry Allen does this every other Tuesday. But that's not the point. Ken, you're a moron. I, I'm going to punch you in the face now. Okay, I can't punch you in the face just yet. Embarrassment. That's it. We give. Well, that was disappointing. Maybe if you knew how to throw a punch, brother. <laughs> My punches weren't the problem, brother. It was your weak kicks. Oh, you mean these weak kicks? Stop it! No, you stop it! Are you trying to punch me because I can hardly feel it? Is that a kick or are we playing footsie? I'm telling mom on you. Well, I'm telling dad on you. Enough! Step aside, you K-pop wannabes. I'll handle this myself. It's time for your punishment! Ow! 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 Th that was cheating! A sucker punch! You were staring straight at us. Still not cool! Just wait till my father hears about this. He will not be pleased. With you, maybe. Yeah, what a pathetic son. Shut up! Besides, we stopped your plan. Yeah, the school is free and hardly anyone ate that toxic junk Primo sent over. Actually, I think a lot of the students ate it. M my point stands, we still saved the day. <laughs> you think this was our plan? These experiments were just the tip of the iceberg. If you two want a rematch, drop by San Wakai Tower. That's where the real action is. Now, where is my helicopter? I... Oh, there it is. Look! Ken dropped another one of those emblems. Nice try, Ken. Nice try. Anyway, I'll see you guys in part 11 of River City Girls 2.